Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you just installed Linux Mint 22, congratulations. You now have one of the best Linux distributions out there. But before you dive in, there are a few things you should do to make your system even better. Stick around as I walk you through essential steps after installing Linux Mint 22. Let's get started. First things first, let's make sure your system is up to date. Even though you've just installed Linux Mint, there might be updates available for the software and security patches. To do this, open the Update Manager from your menu. It'll check for updates automatically. If there are any, click Install Updates and let it do its thing. This ensures your system is secure and running smoothly. My system is up to date. You can also use the command line to update your system if you want. Just open the terminal and run these commands. Next, let's check if your system needs any additional drivers. Some hardware, like graphics cards or Wi-Fi adapters, might require proprietary drivers for optimal performance. Open the Driver Manager from your menu. It'll scan your system and show you any available drivers. If you see any recommended drivers, go ahead and install them. This can significantly improve your system's performance and compatibility. Now, let's talk about managing startup applications. Over time, you might install apps that automatically start when you log in, which can slow down your boot time. To manage these, open the Startup Applications tool from your menu. Here, you'll see a list of programs that launch at startup. Disable any that you don't need running right away. This can help speed up your system's boot time and improve overall performance. Before you go any further, let's talk about backups. TimeShift is a fantastic tool that comes pre-installed with Linux Mint. It allows you to take snapshots of your system, so if anything goes wrong, you can easily restore it. Open TimeShift, set it up, and schedule regular backups. Trust me, this can save you a lot of headaches down the road. I already set it up myself, and as you can see, it automatically creates snapshots. But the first time you open it up, the wizard will automatically open and you can use it to set up time shift. Here you can select whether to take snapshots daily, weekly, monthly, and so on. You can also select how many snapshots should be kept. User home directories are excluded by default in the snapshots. You can include them here if you want. But if you have videos or big files in your home directory, your drive will fill up in no time. You can also customize panels, add applets, and themes. For example, to customize the panel, just search for panel and click on it. You can adjust the visibility, height, and other properties. You can also enable hot corners. Hot corners in Linux Mint and many other Linux distributions are a feature that allows you to trigger specific actions by moving your mouse cursor to one of the corners of the screen. This feature is often used to quickly access certain functions, such as showing the desktop, opening the application menu, or activating the window overview, 
Linux Mint typically uses the Cinnamon desktop environment, which has built-in support for hot corners. If you're using a different desktop environment like Mate or XFCE, you may need to install additional tools or extensions to enable hot corners. And stop using apt, use Nala instead. Nala is a front end for the apt package manager in Linux, designed to improve the user experience with additional features and a more modern interface. Here are some reasons why you might prefer using Nala over the traditional apt. Nala includes a feature to automatically find and use the fastest mirrors for your package downloads. You can also run Nala Fetch to update your mirror list, ensuring faster and more reliable downloads. It also uses parallel downloading, which speeds up the process of fetching packages by downloading multiple files simultaneously. This can significantly reduce the time it takes to install or update packages, especially on slower internet connections, and Nala provides clearer and more intuitive dependency resolution. It shows a more detailed breakdown of what will be installed, removed, or upgraded, making it easier to understand the changes being made to your system. Nala is a great choice for users who want a faster, more user-friendly and feature-rich alternative to apt. It's particularly useful for desktop users who value a better interface and additional functionality. However, for simple tasks or in environments where minimalism is key, apt remains a reliable and trusted tool. While Linux Mint comes with great pre-installed apps, you might need more. You can install apps from the software manager or use the command line or terminal. Browse through the categories and install the ones you want. If you plan to watch videos or listen to music, you'll need multimedia codecs. During the installation, Linux Mint might have asked if you wanted to install them. If you skip that step, no worries. You can install them now by searching for codecs in the software manager. You can also improve RAM usage. Adjust the swappiness value to optimize your system's RAM usage. When your computer's RAM usage reaches a certain threshold, it begins using swap space to handle additional memory demands. However, since swap space relies on your hard drive or SSD, it is significantly slower than physical RAM and should be used sparingly to avoid performance bottlenecks. By default, the system starts using swap when approximately 60% of the RAM is utilized. If you have a limited amount of RAM, such as 4 GB or 8 GB, this threshold might be too aggressive, causing unnecessary swapping and slowing down your system. To improve performance, consider lowering the swappiness value to 10, which delays swap usage until around 90% of the RAM is in use. You can adjust this setting by modifying the swappiness value in the system file. This simple tweak can help keep your system running smoothly, especially if you have sufficient RAM available. Next update, mirrors. If this is your first time opening the update manager, it will prompt you to switch to a local mirror for faster download speeds. Click yes to proceed and a new window will open, allowing you to choose the mirror you'd like to use. Selecting a local mirror can significantly speed up the process of downloading updates and packages. Next, improve battery life, 
if you are using a laptop. Improving battery life on Linux Mint is crucial for laptop users, and one of the most effective tools for this purpose is TLP, a power management tool. TLP optimizes power settings automatically, helping you extend battery life without sacrificing performance. After installation, TLP will start automatically and run in the background. Just in case, run this command to start the TL. P daemon service. Linux Mint comes with Firefox pre-installed, but if you prefer another browser like Google Chrome or Brave, you can easily install it. Just download the .deb file from the browser's official website and install it. Installing a .deb file is easy. You can watch one of our videos on how to install Chrome on Linux Mint or Ubuntu. Next, install Microsoft Fonts. Microsoft Font, such as Times New Roman, Arial, Verdana, and Calibri are widely used in documents, websites, and professional settings. While Linux Mint comes with a variety of open-source fonts, you might need Microsoft fonts for compatibility reasons, such as ensuring that documents created in Microsoft Office, Example Word, and Excel display correctly with the intended fonts. Make sure to agree to the license when it pops up. Tick the box. Security is important, even on Linux. Linux Mint comes with a built-in firewall, but it's not enabled by default. Let's fix that. Open the firewall configuration tool from your menu, turn it on, and customize the settings if needed. This adds an extra layer of protection to your system. This step is meant for users who are using an SSD. If you are not, you can skip this step. Enabling trim for an SSD in Linux Mint is crucial for maintaining the performance, longevity, and efficiency of your solid-state drive. Trim is a command that allows the operating system to inform the SSD which blocks of data are no longer in use and can be wiped internally. Unlike traditional hard drives, SSDs need to erase data before writing new data to the same block. Without trim, the SSD doesn't know which blocks are free, leading to slower write speeds over time as the drive fills up with stale data. Run the commands I just showed you to enable trim. If you are a gamer, you can set up. Steam to play Windows games, just run this command. I will not install it myself since I'm not a gamer. You should also install Stacer. Stacer is a powerful open source system optimizer and monitoring tool designed for Linux systems, including Linux Mint. It provides a user-friendly graphical interface to manage and optimize various aspects of your system. Stacer provides real-time monitoring of system resources, including CPU, RAM, disk usage, and network activity. This helps you identify performance bottlenecks or resource-hungry processes. It also allows you to clean up unnecessary files such as cache, logs, and temporary files, freeing up disk space and improving system performance. Stacer lets you easily manage startup applications, enabling you to disable unnecessary programs that slow down your boot time. With this app, you can start, stop, or disable system services, giving you better control over background processes. Plus, Stacer includes a task manager to view and kill running processes, similar to the Windows Task Manager.
Stacer is a versatile and user-friendly tool that simplifies system optimization and monitoring on Linux Mint. Whether you want to clean up junk files or uninstall software, Stacer provides an all-in-one solution. Its intuitive interface makes it accessible to users of all skill levels, making it a valuable addition to your Linux Mint system. If you want to enable Snap, you can watch one of our videos on how to enable Snap on Linux Mint. Don't forget to join the Linux Mint community. Whether it's the official forums, Reddit, or YouTube channels like this one, there's a wealth of knowledge and support out there. If you ever run into issues or have questions, the community is always ready to help. And that's it. Those are my top recommendations for things to do after installing Linux Mint 22. By following these steps, you'll have a secure, customized, and fully functional system, ready for whatever you throw at it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Linux tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.